I'm Coyote Peterson. This morning, on the outskirts of the Everglades, you'd never believe the set of fangs that the team and I encountered. You're going to want to stick around for this. This morning, the crew and I were exploring a pine rockland habitat in Homestead, Florida. This environment provides great camouflage and is the perfect place to find North America's largest pit viper, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Our goal today is to locate one of these snakes and bring it up close to the cameras to show you some of its most amazing but deadly features. To do this, I will cautiously handle the snake so no harm comes to me or the reptile. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. You got a rattle? Uh, keep coming slow, slow. Watch, watch where you're stepping. Watch where you're stepping. Where'd it come from? Right up in front of us here somewhere. A lot of thick ground cover, and this is the most dangerous position you can be in for looking for a rattlesnake. You hear a rattle once, if it doesn't rattle again, you're just kind of frozen in place saying, okay, how close am I to that snake? Oh, right here. See it? Right here in front of us. Yep, it's an eastern diamondback. Wow. What a beauty. That was a really good size eastern diamondback. This is not a good position for me to try to get you guys close to film. I'm gonna get him from the tail. Wow, look at that, okay. I don't want him getting any closer to my hand than that. All right, let's move this way. Stay back just a little bit. And I'm staying pretty calm because it's still early in the morning and these snakes come out about this time to warm up in the sun. All reptiles are ectothermic, which means they rely on the sun to heat up with energy and go out and hunt for the day. Now, this species of rattlesnake is the heaviest in the world and they can grow to be about five and a half, six feet. This one's probably about two and a half, three feet. That doesn't mean we have to give it any less respect. Most of the time these snakes can be pretty aggressive if provoked and of course we've kind of taken him out of the underbrush there and up on the road to get a better look. And there comes the kind of classic defense posture. Curl myself into a ball. You can see he's starting to puff up his body, make himself look bigger. Because the snake is so calm right now, and because it's just starting to warm up, it's probably safe for me to head the snake, which means I'm gonna gently pin its head down and hold it so I can have full control. Okay, you guys ready? Now pinning its head down doesn't hurt the snake in any way. Uh, this is the only way to safely show you the fangs of the snake. You get that shot okay? He is strong and he's not happy to have his head picked up, but that's okay. This is a much more controlled situation now. I've got a pretty good grip on his head there, so I won't risk getting tagged by those fangs. And like all pit vipers, the Eastern Diamondback has a set of hinged fangs that kind of come down from the roof of the mouth. So when he opens up to strike like this, those fangs come out into the prey, they inject venom, and the prey doesn't die right away. Actually, what the snake will do is let the prey run off. So let's say I'm a rat, I get bit by this rattlesnake. I start to run, before I know it, my muscles start to give out, and the snake, using its heat sensing pits and its tongue, will actually follow that trail until it finds the rat or whatever the unlucky prey might have been, and then of course, it has its dinner. Uh, this is the most dangerous part, but what I want to do is try to see if I can get the snake to wrap its fangs around the edge of the stick so you can see how long they are. And this is what you really need to be careful of when you're out here working with a snake like this. Okay, you guys ready? There you go. Look at that. Uh, you get bit by those little hypodermic needles and you've got a hemotoxin going into your bloodstream that's going to start killing red blood cells. You want to get yourself to the hospital as fast as you possibly can to get some anti-venom. All right, ready? I'm going to kind of let his fangs back in. There you go, buddy. Close your mouth. All right. Wow. Thanks for being such a good sport for that. Whew, what an absolutely gorgeous snake. Now, this is not a snake that is ever going to come looking for you. Uh, the only reason that this snake is even here for the cameras is because we managed to hear its defensive warning sign, that famous rattle, and I was able to pick him up safely and get him out here in a controlled situation so I could give you guys a closer look. I never, ever, ever recommend that you go out and try to pick up a rattlesnake. Extremely dangerous, one of the most venomous rattlesnakes in the United States.
Wow, what an encounter. Cool, but dangerous with the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Now I'm sure maybe you guys have had yourselves in the same position I was just in, walking through the wild and you hear a rattle. I wanna know about your stories, so leave them in the comments section below. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, buddy, you ready to go back out there into the wild? If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.